Neil is uh, three years younger than I am, but we grew up together and we were first cousins. From the very beginning, it was evident that he was extremely intelligent, but he didn't uh, laud that over you. I've known him since we were 12 years old, and that's a long time ago. Very educated, very intelligent, and you could sit down with him, and he was just a plain guy. Well, he was the smartest guy in school. Just to prove how smart he was, he married the smartest girl in school. From the first time I met him, uh, he said he wanted to be a nuclear physicist. Neil went a long way, even to the point of serving as Bill Clinton's science advisor. So, yeah, he accomplished a lot in his time. You talk about people that are overachievers. He's not an overachiever. He's, he's somebody that achieved all the things that he could possibly ho have hoped for as a young man. He. Uh, does what he says he's going to do and is capable of doing it. Exceptional uh, and uh, very aggressive. He is a leader. He's one of those people, a perfect example. Somebody took advantage of those opportunities. Our experience uh, in the public system was, was very good. And he would go out and, and love to learn. We had a, a superb group. Of, of teachers. He is so deserving of the award. He's so accomplished. He was intelligent, obviously, but that hard work, he wouldn't have got where he is without that hard work. I would certainly encourage younger kids to take a, a, a copy of what Neil did. They were a group of people that loved teaching, they loved their subjects, and they loved the people. He's a shining example of uh, of what can happen to people if they really put their heart and mind to it. And I would say to him that, uh, boy, you did a great job.